And we're back, guys. So today we are loading up the old International. What's left of it? I got Kyle, my, my driver in the truck. I got the forklift behind it. We're gonna be pushing it up onto the trailer back there on our loading dock here at the tractor shop. So he's gonna steer it. It's got a flat tire back here. My frame well is still kind of holding together. Yeah, you can see it right there. Frame well didn't break. But we're gonna get it pushed up on there. Here we go. There we got it guys, all loaded up. We're gonna get this thing chained down and roll over to the other shop and get the other truck pushed out of there and loaded on the trailer. Hopefully it fits, it should be freaking close. This is sketchy. So we're up here at the shop, guys. We got the Air Force truck rolled out of the building for the first time. Uh, we got John here with the Reliance towing. He's gonna help us get this thing pulled up here. We're gonna hook a snatch block to the back of the other truck. And it's chained down, of course, guys, so it's not going anywhere. So we're gonna run the winch cable all the way to the front of the truck here and pull her up. Here we go. Kind of crazy, them welds are holding. Weird. Look at him. Perfect. All right, where are you going? Looks good. Go to the left a little bit. Minty. Well, we got the we got the International Air Force truck loaded up. Frame welds are holding in tight. Right now, guys, I'm airing the uh, bags up. We're gonna go ahead and slide this axle all the way back for this trip because we do have quite a bit of weight back here hanging off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but in the meantime, guys, I wanted to show you, we've got four chains on this truck, one at each axle. We're gonna, we've got two on the front truck. We may throw a third one on there um, somewhere and get it tied down a little bit better. But right now the bags are airing up. We're gonna unlock the locks and uh, I'll get in the truck and pull forward and slide this baby back. We're gonna load up the fuel tanks, a few other things on the front of the trailer too. So catch us riding down the interstate with a trailer load full of cab overs being pulled by a cab over. Look at that old sun. Well guys, there it is. We've got everything loaded up strapped down literally spare dry shafts are all strapped down you've got the front bumper the visor we had we put inside the cab up there uh the radiator like i told you guys we did get back from getting repaired we'll be right there and we are headed north peace out dade city those shops getting emptier and emptier you got shit down too yeah <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the pilot. I just got a video uploaded, so we finally hit the road now. It's part of the freaking YouTube truck life. You gotta stop and find good Wi-Fi. And uh, we're here in Wildwood still, but everything's loaded up. Shout out to the fella and his wife that uh, stopped and talked to us about the cab overs. And uh, yeah, actual spread. Yeehaw. All right, northbound and down. Northbound and up. Can't get over how good this thing looks on the cab players on it. It looks so much better. So we stopped here at my buddy Evan's place here in Valdosta, Georgia area. He just bought this huge diesel shop here. It's an old semi shop that went out of business like 10, 15 years ago. And uh, we went and plundered through a lot of the stuff that was here in like the garage parts room and all that stuff. And we ended up making a deal on some stuff. If you guys want us to come back, comment, and comment down below and let me know. So Evan's gonna walk us through and uh, show us everything else. We've already seen it, so. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked out and uh, we'll go show you everything else he's got. Maybe we can come back and do a full tour of the place. So right in here is like an old parts room, guys, and there is cat parts, Detroit parts. I mean, like a little bit of everything, all the way down to some old, old low ash engine oil. I mean, this stuff's ancient that's in here. Um, we won't go too far into detail on this video, guys. Like I said, comment down below if you want us to come back. He is selling literally everything in here and there's like four more shelves over there air compressors, there's Cummins push rods, pistons. Well, Cummins, re <laughs> literally a new old stock rebuild kit sitting down there, brand new Cummins pistons and main bearings, and rod bearings, all that good stuff. Um, I snagged up a couple of injection pumps, some old PT pumps and a six cylinder Cummins pump. 
but there's a ton of stuff in here so comment down below let me know guys if you want us to stop back in here but for now we're gonna walk out and tour the back shed real quick so we're walking back here to this back shop also but back here i gotta show you guys there's an old old ford truck and it's got an old caterpillar v8 probably a 3206 maybe I, Ooh, look at all them wasps right there no sir anyways it's got a caterpillar in there but look at this old freaking mac tow truck so sick we need to come back and do a wheel start on that all right so i did pick out some cool stuff in here but we'll come back in the daylight and you guys can see everything a lot better but there are old freaking diffs these are all probably rebuilt a ton of clutches they're probably all core clutches and stuff like that pressure plates detroit heads a ton of cummins rods over there i bought this 6v53 i think it's a 6v53 power unit here freaking nice and this badass engine stand so work perfect got a couple pieces to go with it not different engines on it should work out pretty cool we'll be back in about a week or so guys so comment let me know we should be back here if there's anything you guys want to buy we'll do a full tour on it we'll give all you guys evan's information you can get a hold of him he just bought this shop so what's the you bought the shop and what are you gonna be doing in here uh we got a use truck lot we're gonna do a bunch of lift kits wheels tires piece repair there really isn't anyone that does that here in like valdosta is there no there's there's really not um it's pretty slim pickings honestly so in here there's a ton of tools which he's gonna be keeping most of those there's a waukesha four-cylinder generator sitting down here old ass air compressor there's some kind of a brand new crankshaft maybe you guys can tell us what that fits i'm not 100 sure it might be a detroit crank it's a big ass timing gear on the front press huge hydraulic press there's another mac motor crank back there so we'll come back we don't want to get show them too much make everybody want to see everything you're gonna keep all those sockets aren't you uh yeah yeah you keep all the tools yeah, of, of tools well guys we made it to like exit 296 just north of atlanta here in georgia uh we had to stop and fuel up the truck's probably going to use about 100 gallons of fuel and we've driven, oh, I need to do the math, like 150 miles, I'm sorry, 450, 460 miles. Surprised a lot of you haven't really asked what kind of mileage we're getting. We are getting, obviously, right around like four and a half, five miles a gallon. So not too bad. Loaded down. I did hit the scales. We weigh like 62,000. Um, and that's where our weight is on every truck, trailer, and all the whole load. So not too bad. We are going to pull the parking lot, get a little bit of rest. And uh, i got about two more hours of driving to drop off the truck. So... You get to meet the new owners and get introduced to those guys and we can talk about their youtube channel and you guys can follow the build from here on out with them on uh getting the air force truck all finished up there he comes All right, guys, so we made it back up here to Sweetwater, Tennessee. We're dropping off both the cab overs to Mr. Tim here. And uh, shout out Tim Gentry for picking up the Air Force truck and everything else. I told you guys it wasn't going to go to waste. It wasn't getting scrapped. And we were going to find a really good home for it. And uh, Tim and his son are going to work. His son's actually coming across here in the, in the, the new hall. He's six years old. Uh, he's, eight, he's eight now. Eight, driving the old uh, new hall and across here, everything unloaded. But... Him and his son are gonna be um, finishing the Air Force truck together. So go check out their channel, guys. I'll put a link in the description below so you can follow everything. Go subscribe to them and uh, give them a couple days to get a video uploaded, but he's gonna get it there. But everybody say hello to Braxton. He's gonna show him shitty pair of oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'm glad to see I got a subscriber getting the truck, guys. So it's really exciting. But we've got uh, a lot of stuff unloaded already. We're gonna dump the bags on the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things uh, unloaded. There's Brax Braxton say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs>
Yeah, guys, so this is Braxton. He's one of those driving the side bar that uh, Bobcat earlier, and he's going to be working on it with his dad, Tim. All right, guys, we're going to get her unloaded. You're looking good. Just keep it straight. It's still intact. Okay. The middle chunk's just hanging out. <laughs> like that. Now it's about gone. Well, there they are, guys. You've seen that fiasco getting them unloaded. The uh, tractor, the controls are a little backwards on it from how a normal loader works. So it kind of threw me off for a second there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and air the trailer back out. We're going to slide this axle back forward and get around a little bit easier. Well, guys, there you have it. Go over to Gentry and Sons Trucking. Tim and his son Braxton, they'll be uploading videos gonna give them some time guys they're new to youtube they're gonna be starting on it but obviously the air force truck's gonna be their first project working on together as a father and son team on youtube so go subscribe to them link in the description below guys smash like button drop comment down below and subscribe and catch us later we're gonna get this axle slip back and head back up home to crossville tennessee
about smokes as much as the peat. Maybe a little more. You ready? Mm. Time to get started. <laughs> 